four years since we did the last tour today, and it was a huge news event nationally and internationally, and we thought it was worth repeating the exercise to be transparent to the public about the full range of things we do. But obviously, since four years ago, uh, we've reduced in size by 1,400 police officers because of the budget reduction. Uh, so it's also a means of highlighting that issue. Uh, sadly, that the fact of uh, the number of officers is going to continue to reduce. But obviously, really, the public expectations haven't changed, um, and therefore, we are extremely busy. Well, it's been a fairly typical day, really, um, in terms of a whole range of calls, um, some pretty serious incidents, um, but quite a lot uh, about vulnerable people, elderly people, um, children refusing to go to school, uh, quite a number of aspects the public would be quite surprised that the police have been called about. But on the other hand, the police are there as the agency of last resort. People phone us when they can't think of anybody else to phone. Um, and particularly, we see a growing issue of vulnerable people, uh, the elderly, uh, victims of abuse. Um, and Twitter Day really emphasises the range of responsibilities the police have for caring for people. So often the debate is the police dealing with crime, but we deal with a lot more of crime. And as a proportion, uh, the amount of time we spend on vulnerable people is going up.